Good morning, everybody. Today is, this is even hard to say, January the 6th, 2022. 2022. Wow. Wow. That's even hard to say. You know, you've ever, you know, back when we used to write checks, uh, back when checks used to be a valid form of payment in this world, uh, some of us still do. I still write some for certain occasions. But, you know, you used to carry around a checkbook all the time in a ledger. Uh, you know, remember balancing a checkbook? You know, some of us probably still do or don't. But uh, I used to have the hardest time for about the all of January and maybe all of February because I would write 2021. 2021, I would write. And I don't know how many checks I've caught myself doing or probably even, you know, sent in with the wrong year on it because it just takes so long so long to to get out of those habits it's and that's what i'm that's exactly what i want to talk about today I'm exactly what i want to talk about is uh changing habits changing visions changing thoughts uh a new 2022 a new 2022 coming forward and i have a super special guest today uh, i was going to have john heinlein uh, out of Huntsville, he had a, he was busy this morning. He is a brand new top producer, and so guess what we got today? We have another guest, and I'm not going to introduce him just yet because I'm going to have a drum roll, but I want to set the stage for him. Um, but thank y'all all for joining on today. What a great big group we have here, and thank you for taking time, special time, because I do this every Thursday. Out of your Thursday. I won't keep you long, you know, but I think we've just got some things that that, that are going to help all of us today, help all of us in 2022, you know, 2021 and 2000, you know, 2000, 2021, 2020, even hard to say, uh, in 2019, we're tough, you know, tough years, tough years going through all the COVID and we still have it, you know, running around out there right now so you know how do we face that those are those are you know things we think about who have we lost you know we, we look back in the last two years and lost several agents to this maybe lost family members lost people uh that weren't supposed to be leaving us um so we we just need to you know think about those people and think about what we're doing here and think about final expense you know for a second so i want to set the stage this morning again if, if y'all don't know me you probably do know me my name is Keelan Johnson. I'm the manager for Texas and Oklahoma and New Mexico, and I work in, with some agents in Colorado and Kansas, too, so a large territory. Texas is big enough, and I know there's some people not from Texas on the line, but, you know, the country of Texas. I know Stephen Lowry's listening, so the country of Texas down here is big, and we're super proud, uh, but 2022, I'm, I'm super just pumped about. I've been in the insurance business since 2000. So I've been in 22 years now this year. So the beautiful thing about that is, is nothing but I don't have to do continuing education anymore. So I'm super excited about that. Um, so so let's just kind of jump, jump into this. I don't want to spend much time on me. I don't want to spend much time today on just our product and just our underwriting because this is a special and this is a special, you know, uh, presentation today. This is the first one of the year. It gets us kicked off in the right direction. We've got a lot of things going you know, with the company that you're going to see come down the pipeline, new career programs, new agency director programs, new ramped up individual independent programs. So there is a spot for every single person, every single person uh, within Security National Life. And I really appreciate you being here uh, you know, today. So I'm going to also ask, I hope I haven't been talking to myself. So if I'm loud and clear, can you just put yes in your chat button if you can hear me loud and clear? So I want to make sure I'm not talking to myself here. Perfect. I've done this before. I've gone on. And most of y'all, if you've done these things, maybe you've gone on for a minute or two, like nobody can hear me. So here I am. But uh, perfect. I, I just had a thought this morning. This is a last minute deal I wasn't going to do, but I am going to do. But I wanted to, I, I brought this up and my mom is a school teacher. And uh, my mom has been teaching school for 52 years. Yes, 52 years. So she teaches, my mom teaches in a little small town in Hamilton called Ham well, Hamilton, Texas. And I grew up with 39 people. I graduated high school with 39 people. And so she was in the school from fifth grade, on fifth grade, all the way 
to now. So you take a fifth grader and she actually student taught a couple of years before she even was actually a teacher back in the 1700s. But no, not really. But anyways, so she, um, she started teaching fifth graders. Now a fifth grader is typically about maybe, uh, you know, 10 years old. Actually she started teaching fifth and sixth. Let's just give it that, 10 years old. So the first class she ever taught, actually, before she taught those was 54 years ago. Do the math. The first people she taught are 64 years old now. They are 64 years old now. So think how many generations come after that. So if you're a generation that comes every 20 years or 21 or 22, depending on where you're at, but that's three generations there. So my mom is still teaching. The kids that are coming through her class right now are great grandkids of her first students great grandkids of her first students and uh, so she's an english teacher if you can't tell what's what's on the screen and what's coming up but i i got to thinking about this today i got to thinking about this you know um when we when you're asked and in in your very first grade you know first grade or, or second grade when you're telling a story and when you're talking about a story and you're talking about what happened and, and, and what's going to happen. Here's the five W's. It's the who, what, when, where, and why. Some people put how in there. And this is actually comes from a definition. These are the five questions kids learn in grade school or when first learning a language. A language. It covers the basic and helps you understand the situation and context. So I'm going to I'm going to, to introduce somebody to you here. It's a very, very dear friend of mine. Um, and he is also a market manager. And he is out of the Louisiana area. And he runs all of that Cajun land down in there, all the way up into Arkansas. But Stephen Lowry, are you out there? I am here. I hope you can see me. I hope you can hear me. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you okay, and and uh, let me see if I can see you. That is one not good picture, but I'll see you anyway. So look at him, look at him dressed up out there in the field, probably with some agents, yeah. huh? I, I am just met with an agent this morning who is uh, going to be a giant leader here at Security National Life one day, and uh, just just got done with the meeting. I'm at Starbucks, as you can see, and uh, I'm sitting in the parking lot. But I am thrilled. To be with Keelan's team this morning because Keelan's team is is one of the best teams in this industry anywhere, and uh, it's such an honor for me to be able to uh, to join you guys this morning. Stephen came. Uh, Stephen, when did you come on board in the final expense area? Because you were all also before that you were in another division. You want to kind of just preface on that a little bit? Sure. Um, uh, I guess I'll kind of start at the beginning. Uh, when I retired from the Marine Corps in 2011, I went into the financial services industry um, as a financial advisor, and I, I really didn't enjoy it. I didn't like it, didn't have fun, and um, I wanted to get into life insurance because that was the one piece of my job that I really liked and enjoyed. And um, and so I, I, of course, I tried to figure out what's the what's the best way to make money in the in the life insurance field, and I and I decided it's got to be final expense insurance. So I, I started as an independent agent. I happened to live in Mandeville, Louisiana, which is where our vice president lives, and we met by accident one day, and um, and that's kind of where my relationship with this company began. Uh, that's back when our final expense division was very new, and I was just an just an agent. I was just a regular old agent, and uh, did pretty well. And uh, they brought me on to uh, to help with a division that kind of didn't work out. Uh, in fact, it was it was probably the precursor to what we now call the the career program. And we didn't have the platforms in place to really support it then, but we knew we had the right idea. And, um, and so we, we put it on the back burner until we were able to kind of flesh out what the idea was. And that was, oh, 2017. And I came over to the final defense, the final expense side to uh, begin uh, running, running this territory here in, in Southern Louisiana. And uh, it's worked out really well. I've been able to expand, uh, been able to grow the territory, grow the production in the territory. I'm sorry the picture's so bad, guys. I'm looking at myself and it's just 
the light's horrible in this car. Um, but you're good. Uh, so anyway, that's how kind of, that's how it all started, Keelan, and uh, and over the course of time, Keelan and I have become great friends, and we support each other and uh, and love each other, and we love you guys. So I'm happy to be here this morning. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, you're the best, man. You know that. So I just want everybody to know that's on the line here. What you know, what I want to show you is that you're not alone out there. It may seem like a lonely world in this business. It may seem like you're, you're all alone, but you wake up in the morning and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm the only person in the world here. I've got an appointment maybe with this company or that company or whatever, but I want you to know you're not alone with Security National Life. And I want that to stick within 2022 because managers like Stephen Lowry, uh, you know, and we've got other managers in the country have taken people from not ever writing a single policy to industry leaders in industry leaders. And that's what we want to be. We want to be in trucks. We want to be next to you. We want to be out there with you. We want to be over the Zoom if you prefer that. We want to be anything you need. We want to be there. So that Stephen Lowry is a, is a great uh, proponent of that and a great role model to me. So thank you for being on there. So, so Stephen, I want you to hit on a couple of these things too right here. These are, these are the who, what, when, where, and why. So the who, you know, who are we? Who are we? In 2022, I want everybody to take a screenshot of this, if you can, with your, with your phone, and answer these questions with regards to final expense, with regards to Security National Life, maybe with regards to what you want to be in 2022, whatever it is. This is your story, and it goes back to Crayolas, to kindergarten. Who are you? Um, what are you doing in it, it every day, or what are you doing in the industry, or what are you doing with your family, or what are you doing from a logistical standpoint when you wake up every day? When do you do that? When is the time? You know, is tomorrow? I have agents all the time, and we have agents go, Well, I'm going to buy some leads next week, and then two years go by and they've never had any leads, and that's okay. But when are you going to do it? Where are you going to do it? Where are you going to find people? Where are you going to go see people? Where are your centers of influence? Where are your key people? Where are your loved ones? Where are you when they need you? Look in your contact list in your phones. You've got hundreds and hundreds of people in there. Where are they? When are you going to go see them? And here's the most important one. The fifth one is why. And the why is always the most important one because it's at the very end because if you don't know why you're doing this and you don't know why you're protecting people. I'm very passionate about the why. That's my why. I'm very passionate about helping people. You know, I've been in the insurance business for 20 years. A lot of us have been in the business for 20 years or 15 or 18 or whatever. And you may have sold, you know, Medicare or health or PNC or or, or any of those products and stuff. But my why is this, it's this, because everybody's gonna pass away. Everybody is gonna pass away one day and everybody is going to use this product. Let's just call it that. And everybody needs it. Everybody's gonna use it. And I love being in an industry where I can just focus on one thing and know that every single person I'm talking to, there are 32 people on the line today with this. And Stephen, I don't know if you can see that, but everybody on this line is gonna pass away one day, right? Yeah. There's one, there's one person, <laughs> yeah, man. There's one person that's gonna go first and there's one person that's gonna go last, but everybody is gonna do this. And you know, one thing I wanna start off with, and, and I know this is harsh, and I say this every time, I just wanna set the stage because I'm passionate about this, is that if you could go to all 32 funerals right here, if you were the 33rd person, you could go to all 32 funerals here. Let's just paint that picture. Are you going to sit on the front pew or the back pew? Are you going to sit on the front pew and know that you helped that family out and know that you asked that person and know that you took care of that family and know you had the courage to call up and say, hey, hey, Stephen, I know you, know you don't know what I do, but I do final expense and I'm here to take care of you. When's a good time we can visit? Or are you going to sit on the back pew when the organ's going and before the, the before the funeral is even over, you're going to scoot out the back door and go, oh, my gosh, I forgot to ask them. Oh, my gosh, I don't know if they have any coverage. Oh, my gosh, you know, I hope their kids don't, don't ask me that question. Did dad or mom have coverage? 
golly, I hope they don't. What are you going to do? And that's the wise for me. That is the why. That's a 2022 wise for me. You know, and, and that's my passion. Stephen, you want to expand or say anything on that? Yeah. Uh, you know, I posted something on Facebook the other day. And what I posted was the, the, a quote from Mark Twain. And it was that, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, they're the two most important days of your life are the day you're born and the day you find out why. And, um, you know, folks, Keelan really is, he's not, he's not kidding. His passion is protecting families from the inevitable um, and making sure that those financial burdens are mitigated as much as possible. Um, uh, my why is a, a slightly different. Um, you know, my why is that I like to, I, I, of course, I love to protect the families and, and, and I would never shortchange what that means to me but i love to take people that maybe were were um struggling to find where they were professionally uh a way to, to expand themselves and help them do that that's really my why i like to take agents that never sold a policy and see if i can move them into the middle class and can we get into the upper middle class and can we make them rich that's my goal and um, um that that's kind of the why that drives me I don't know what your why is, but you got to figure it out and you have to serve your why. You have to be a servant to your why uh, in order to, it, it, it's, a, it's jet fuel for your work when you are serving your why. So if I could leave you with anything on the topic of why, that would be it. Serve it, serve your why. Find something to do in your life that serves your why. Uh, I, I hope that makes sense, Keelan. No, you, you hit the nail on the head and one of my, you know, 2021, uh, my main kind of motto, if you will, is uh, to serve versus sale. And, you know, that's a different kind of feeling in it, whether you, when, when you start trying to feel like you're going to serve people versus selling something, you know, and that's important in this industry. It's important in this business because, you know, sometimes it is an emotional deal. And, you know, when you're in the property and casualty business or you're selling vacuum cleaners or you're going door to door with with something else you want to sell it it's an exchange and here here's your money here's your product here's your money here's your vacuum cleaner here's your car here's your here's your your deal and serving means that my approach is a little bit different you know instead of going hey um do you have life insurance because i I sell life insurance and I'd like to sell you some life insurance. Instead of that approach being that, um, what, a, you know, what about an approach of, hey, listen, I help families, I protect families. And I'd love to help you protect your family because the inevitable, and, and inevitable is gonna come one day and that's gonna be the situation. So let me try to help your family. When's a good time we can do it? So the approach is totally different there. On that, well, the approach is totally different. Do you have anything to expand on that, Stephen? Because I think it's a big word: serve versus sell. Uh, yeah, it, it is a big word. Um, it, here's the thing: I think being a great salesperson uh, will get you a certain way down the road, but uh, in order to in order to build that ultimate trust, which drives people to you through referrals and through reputation you have to be a servant you just do the uh, I, I think it was napoleon hill that said if you want everything uh, in order to get everything you want you got to give your customer everything that they want or something along those lines i'm paraphrasing but uh, service is how that happens yeah absolutely and, and you know we are here i think you know Stephen can back it up the, if you figure out your why, why you want to help people and why you want to serve people, we can fill in the gaps with the rest of it. Stephen and I and all of us can figure out where you need to work, when you need to work, what product you need to, to, to put them in, and who you need to go see. We can help you with that. We can help you figure out a plan and a marketing plan to devise around that, whether we go and buy leads, whether you're on the, the career program, whether you're involved with your church, whether you're involved with you know, going and setting up tables and booths at, at fairs, at the at the prescription, at the grocery store, wherever, we can figure that out. But if without the why, 
we're dead in the water because we don't know why you want to do it or why you want to protect people. We don't, we don't know your why. And, you know, and I would challenge everybody on the line here to within final expense to determine their why in 2022. I'm telling you, I mean, I, I keep saying this, but Stephen, you can back it up. I've never seen probably from a client standpoint, the sense of, of, of urgency, I guess is the word. Maybe there's a better word for it. From the client standpoint, they're pretty scared out there, y'all. They, they understand, I think, right now more in the marketplace. I think the typical client that we're going towards a 65, 55, 75-year-old person is now becoming aware and going, oh, crud, I may not die of old age. Something else may get me, you know. I better, I better tighten up the laces here and take care of this family. So with that being said, I mean, the opportunity for everybody on this line is magnificent. We just got to figure out the why and then we can figure out where you go. We can figure out the type of leads you want to purchase. That's our job. We can figure out the product. We can help you train. We can help you figure out the prescriptions. Those are all just simple, you know, simple calls, simple trainings, things to go do. You know, Stephen's real good about running around with people in the field. And, uh, you know, he's got a smaller kind of area out there. And that's my goal, too. You know, I've got the training facility here in Georgetown. And we're also, I'm telling you all, also, we're looking for people to the other other key important people in other areas to come along, to be directors, to help other people. I mean, that's a big component of ours. Um, and duplicate yourself in the field and help people, whether you want to be a career agent, which is, I can expand on that, but I'm not going to do it right now. But the career agent field, we just put the model together on, which they, uh, you know, is working like a charm. It's not for everybody, but it is for some people that really want to go in and protect and work on a full-time basis and really make some good money. The independent agent and everybody on here can be and is an independent agent too. That's very important too. You know, we want you, we don't care if you write one policy a month or 1900 policies a month. To me, my why goes along with that. That's still a family protected. That's still a family and a mother and a kid protected. That doesn't matter to me, okay? And whether you want to be an agency director and build a team, pat people on the hiney and hug their necks and grow a team. That's very important to us also. So Stephen, anything to expand? You know, the, the, the young lady that I was interviewing a little while ago, uh, she's already an agent. I'm kind of recruiting within uh, because she's expressed an interest in our career program, uh, which is not our topic today. But I will tell you this, what I said to her was, look, uh, when I bring someone in, an, an agent in, my goal is for you to end up in my chair one day, and uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna give you 100% to to help you get into my chair one day. Um, and look, um, most won't end up in my chair one day, but but somebody might uh, eventually. I just I just uh, brought on a, a market sales director that I had that conversation with two years ago, and now he's sitting in my chair. So. <laughs> So, uh, um, and, and Keelan did too. And so that's, that is, that is very important to us. If an agent wants that next level, we're going to turn all our attention and all our efforts into helping that agent get to that next level. So, yeah, I think you're, I think you're right on point, Keelan. So, so, you know, I wanted to bring you on, Stephen, this morning and uh, just kind of start a little bit on the conversation of these whys in 2022. Uh, for those. So I see a lot of people on here that may have been on the bench in 2021, and, and that's perfectly okay. We are all about that. I mean, this, this market, I understand that people get on, sit on the bench. Maybe they haven't sold a policy in a while. Maybe they didn't sell a policy in 2021. That's the kind of people I want because they're on the line here and they're with us. If you had to give one or two bits of advice, Stephen, on people maybe that are new in the business, um, or coming off the bench, haven't written in a while, um, what would you say maybe the top two things to do to get really re-energized, refocused, or rejuvenated? And what would you do? What do you tell new people that are brand new like that, that are coming back on board? Well, I, I think that new agents face uh, two big problems. One is there's a little bit of anxiety and um, trepidation about actually getting out there and putting yourselves in front of people 
and talking to them because you, you you feel like you might get embarrassed or you might forget the script or whatever. Don't worry about it. They don't know what the script's supposed to be. Just say something. Um, so getting in front of people, making yourself do the things that have to be done in order to get in front of people, that would be the first thing that I would say. The second thing I would say is that I, I see a lot of agents make the mistake of thinking they've got to carry 15 products and 15 different types of insurance and different carriers because they, they're afraid that they will leave money on the table if they don't do dental and cancer and PNC and, and whatever. Most of the agents I know that are rich do one thing. So pick one. It doesn't matter which thing you pick, but pick one thing, especially as a new agent, and be the best at it. That would be my second piece of advice. And I think it's a crucial piece of advice. Pick one thing and become the best. Stephen, where do you see where do you see Security National Alive um, in in one year, five year, ten year? Uh, in one year, I think we're going to double what we did last year. Um, in in five years, I think we will be well on our way to being the industry leader in the final expense market, and that's in terms of uh, where agents want to work, and it's also in terms of sales. I think we'll be we'll be holding the lion's share of the market um, in five years and in 10 years, I think we'll solidly, we'll be the name that everybody knows. That's what I think. Absolutely. So we will be the default final expense carrier in five to 10 years. Absolutely. Well, y'all, it's been a privilege and a pleasure to bring uh, one of our leaders from the company to us today, all the way from bug, mud bug country. Uh, Mr. Stephen Lowry. So um, everybody, give a virtual round of applause for him. And Stephen, you want to you want to finish or wrap up with anything? Uh, I, yeah, I do, and I, and I need to jump off and and uh, go go to work. But I would tell everyone you're in the right place. If you're hanging out with Security National Life, and especially if you're hanging out with Keelan Johnson, you're in the right place. This man can teach you how to be very very successful in this business, how to take care of your family and how to take care of your community. And um, and I'm so honored to be able to spend some time with you all this morning. Uh, don't be shy. If you, if you, if you want to reach out to us, reach out to us anytime. We're always here to support you. And Keelan, thank you very much for the honor of letting me speak to your folks this morning. Thank you. My pleasure, Stephen. Have a good one, Bob. All right. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. So, wow. So what a treat this morning. Uh, you know, another a manager out there that started, you know, in the company five and six years ago and uh, his passion and his why is still my passion and my why. And, uh, you know, so so I just wanted to bring him in. We were going to have John Heinemann, which is another large producer, and hopefully next week he can be here with us uh, to go through a little bit of a more deep dive into how he does business and how he sees himself doing business in 2022 and what that looks like. So I want to just hit a few things here and then I'll let y'all off the line. I won't keep you long today uh, because I think we've had a, a great little you know, 30, 35 minutes worth of emotion and passion. And I want that to go into 2022. I want you to come to me. I want you to come to me and say, Keelan, I want to step my game up. I want to be a strong, independent agent. Keelan, I am actually wanting to do this and I'm wanting to protect families on a fuller time basis. I want to come into your career program. And I don't know if y'all know this right now, but we have a career program that's been started. I see several of you online here. Aura, are you online? Are you able to, to, to unmute for a second? Yes, I'm here. Hey, Aura, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. You didn't. I didn't ask you to do this, and this is kind of ad lib on this deal. But uh, you're you're one of our newer uh, career agents, and and it took you a little while to maybe come back over here. Um, we started getting some some leads. We we're starting to fill your pipeline with leads this next week or so. Uh, you've done some training here, so tell me tell me and tell everybody on the line here why Security National Live or why you chose this route and and uh, why you're going to continue on. I mean, it's a, I'm rolling the dice, but I'm counting on you, but uh, you want to speak your mind, you know, I, I'm looking forward to some great things and some great numbers and great family protection from you. 
Uh, well, yeah, thank you. Hello, everybody, and Happy New Year's. Um, the reason that I... Um, Going to New York, where you're from, or... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Yes, my name, my name is Ara Celis Fro. I go by Ara. Um, I'm originally from the Dominican Republic. I've been here for 25 years. Just moved to Texas from sunny Florida. <laughs> yes, loving it here so far. And um, I, I got my license back in 2019, my insurance license, and work with a, a few companies. My last company was a wonderful company. However, they were brokers and they had a lot of products <laughs> and a lot of underwriting. And that was very overwhelming for me. So um, I realized it's best uh, just to focus on one program, yeah, one product. And I did a little research on Security National and the reviews from customers, from, um, you know, from agents, a good standing with the, with the, uh, um, the Better Business <laughs> Bureau. And uh, I reached out to Keelan and he was wonderful. You know, he replied to me right away, um, explained how the company is, the, the vision of the company, and how we are focused on, you know, helping families and, you know, building a, a good culture too. So um, I decided to make the, the, you know, the transition and uh, plant my flag, like they say, <laughs> in this company. And, um, you know, just help a lot of families build a solid career and retirement. You know? <laughs> Ara, what is your what is your why in the industry? What is your why in final expense? Uh, the why, like my personal why or? or yeah. Why, why final expense? Why did you choose? Why do you love final expense? OK, yes, because um, it's a product like you say in every training or in every meeting that everybody needs. You know, it's not a matter of if they're going to need it, you know, everybody can use that. And um, people don't like to talk about these things, <laughs> you know. So um, there's a huge need to educate people and to help families because I'm sure we all, you know, can relate to this, how stressful funerals are. Like my best friend just lost um, her brother three months ago. And, you know, she, they had no savings, no money, <laughs> very confusing, you know, very stressful. So there is a need. And my, um, uh, again, it's just one product, you know, and um, I, I, I appreciate, or I appreciate working with the, the let's say the, the market, the, you know, the people that are perhaps, you know, the seniors, you know, <laughs> that are our target. Um, I have the patience. I enjoy, you know, I'm a little old fashioned. I'm not that old, but I'm very old fashioned. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I, I, yeah, I think it, basically that's my why, my motivation to do final expense. That's As a, a wonderful, career, you know. Mm -hmm. That's a wonderful motivation and, and you know, I don't know if you feel the same way, but I have never walked out of a final expense appointment that I sold a policy to the people and felt bad about it. I have always had a great feeling after leaving a house and protecting people. You know, it's, and you know, in the, in the industry, sometimes depending on where you're at, you know, you may be in the Medicare, you may be in the health insurance, you may be doing IULs or term policies or whatever. But isn't it just a different feeling to protect people, you know, middle, maybe middle and low income families that, that are really, really need this and are really going to use it? Isn't it a different feeling to, to provide and to serve people with something that they're going to use one day and that they can afford and that they really appreciate? Absolutely. Yeah. The satisfaction. Yeah. It's, it's a, a career with a lot of satisfaction, you know, that personal satisfaction. That is absolutely it. So, Ara, I really appreciate you, and and uh, you know, and I love the testimonies, and that's what we're all about is just you know throwing some of these testimonies out here. So, you all watch out for big things for Ara or Ara Celis Fro uh, <laughs> in the New Bronzeville area, uh, yeah. 
And uh, so we all maybe one day can go down there and float the river with it. So anyway, yeah. thank you, Laura. And we're looking You're for welcome. big things from you. Absolutely. So I had another one person I wanted to pick on or unmute, and he didn't ask me that. But Rick, are you there? I am. All right. So Rick is also a new career agent down off of not not from Jamaica, but from Jamaica Beach down by Galveston, <laughs> uh, down on the coast. And so, uh, Rick, I know you heard what Ara talked about. And you want to introduce yourself and why Security National Life and why Final Expense and, and uh, you know, maybe maybe your, your past and what you're looking forward to doing here with the company. Okay, um, <clears throat> well, I was talking to a friend of mine earlier today, uh, and the the insurance business, we have uh, life, uh, term life, and then we have final expense, permanent insurance, and it's a huge, huge difference. Uh, many times, the, the term and policies, most of the time, most term, and po term policies don't actually pay the death benefit. They make, they make their term and they don't actually pay the death benefit. So when I'm talking about protecting a family, I'm not talking to them about in the event of a death, I'm talking about what's gonna happen when they do pass away, when they do actually die. Because that's what, that for me, that's what final expense is all about is, you know, the, the ability in my, uh, to, uh, to walk into just virtually any funeral home and hand over uh, the a, a policy or a document or just a flat out name, just walk into a funeral home and tell them, you know, my husband was with Security National and they make one phone call, verify benefits and start to work. You know, that's what, to me, that's that's the beauty of final expenses. It works if, if you take the policy, maintain the policy and whatnot, it works every time. It 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 brings it home to that family every time. Rick, what's your favorite part about the final expense industry and working, you know, out in the field? I'm sorry, do what? What is your favorite part about working out in the field and working with people and working in the final expense industry? You know, this sounds hokey. It sounds hokey, but it's actually just meeting people. I enjoy meeting people flat out. No, that's that that is absolutely, you know, what what it what it what it's you know what it's all about, about meeting people, you know being interested in people. Um, you know, I, I, here's another one. My mother also, again, I go back to her. Y'all heard me talk about her. And she's an English and reading teacher. So of course she was always, Keelan, you got to read more. Keelan, you have to read more. Keelan, you have to read more. You know, you, you're good, you're, you're, your language is going to be limited. You're not going to be able to write. You're not going to be able to do anything unless you read. You understand words. You need to read a book every such and such and so. And there's nothing wrong with that. I know people that read all the time and they're very intelligent um, and they have a larger vocabulary than me, uh, you know, Rick. And so, and they're probably more educated than me from a book standpoint. But you know what I say? Is it, would I rather go read a biography uh, on someone or would I rather go out and sit with them for about an hour and listen to their biography? and listen to them and get to interact with them. You know, there's two ears and one mouth for one reason. So I love listening to people's stories. And I think that's part of, of what makes people successful in this business. They love getting out, they love talking to people. They love hearing their stories. Uh, you know, it's like a ping pong match. Uh, if, if ping pong, if you hit me the ball, Rick, and I pick up the ball, uh, what happens to the game? It's over over it's over but what if i hit, take my paddle and i hit the ping pong ball back and serve it back to you what's your job then we're, then we're gonna play then, then we're in play and that's what life's about and that's what what makes good agents you talk about good agents or great agents is that ability to keep that going the ability to go yeah this is you know hey how are you doing today rick i'm good how about you good where are you from i'm from here good have you ever been in a conversation with someone that was just so one-sided? They never asked you a question. They never did dig into your life. They never did any of that stuff. They just wanted to talk about them, you know? 
Um, so we, we, we are in this industry. That is part of my why also. And I want you to just look, I put the screen on to the left, uh, just as Rick and Ara were talking. And, you know, and I know this is maybe seem hokey, a little screen to everybody, but I designed this and it makes sense to me. But when I was with other companies, we couldn't write all this. We couldn't protect these, these many people. I was with farmer's insurance, so I'll just say that. And I, I couldn't protect half this stuff or three quarters of this stuff. So I didn't know that this opportunity was out there to protect this many people. I would just see someone and I'd talk to them. And, you know, and most of the people that are out there today, they just, they're just gonna say, oh, well, hey, Keelan, you know, I had a heart attack back three years ago, or I've got COPD, you probably can't cover me because I've got these things going on. And the thing is that we can, we can do this, okay? We can. So, you know, I challenge in 2022, you know, to, to think about tonight or tomorrow or, or whatever you do, what am I gonna do in 2022? And hey, if final expense isn't your thing and you wanna move on down the road and do something else, and that's perfectly fine. I'll hug your neck and shake your hand and whenever we meet, and that's totally okay. But if it is, I think you're with a great company. I think you're with a, a, a really good company out there. There's other companies out there. There's other people. There's probably other trainers better than me, you know, other, other mentors better than me, but that's okay. I don't mind that. I just want to help you. I want to be there for you. And if I don't know what you need, I can't help you. So all I ask, you know, at, at the, you know coming to, to close on this is that in 2022, I want to be more there for you. I want you to come in on the 21st of this month. We're going to have a, a meeting here in Georgetown, a live meeting. And uh, I would love for everybody to come. And, you know, I know there's a, there's a gentleman on the line, Jeff Bernal. He's been here. He's seen downtown Georgetown. I want to get out to you. I want to get out with you, ride with you, help you out. But I need to know what you need. There is a lot of talent on this, on this phone call right now. I see one guy right now. Uh, that called me yesterday afternoon and said, hey, Keelan, I see him on, you know, he's on right now. Said, hey, I've kind of been on the bench. I've been doing Medicare. Well, it's over right now. And I'm ramping back up in 2022. I'm ramping back up. I'm ready to protect some people. And I said, you know what, uh, Jorge, I'll just call him out. I said, I'm here for you. I'm still here for you. And I still, you know, I'm still here to help you out wherever you want to go, or whatever you want to do, whether you want to be a strong independent, whether you want to be a strong career agent, whether you want to be an agency builder, builder, I'm here for you. Okay, there's a lot, a lot, you know, of, of talent here. I see Jose Tolentino on the line, Vic Jucata. I mean, these, you know, Rick and and Manuel and Manny. I mean, Jose Ramirez. You guys know how to do it. You guys know how to do it. You've been here. You've done it. Enrique, you know, uh, Henry's coming on, uh, you know, on board with us from West Texas. I'm super excited about that, Courtney jumping back in, you know, I mean, there's tons of talent in this room right now, okay? Let's use it, not for Keelan, not for Security National Alive, but for you, your family, but also at the end of the day, are you gonna be on the front pew or are you gonna be on the back pew? You've taken your license, you've taken your test, you're a professional at what you do. It's like Stephen Lowry said, don't be afraid to just walk in a door and start talking, you know, 99.9% .9 more than anybody that you're talking to anyway. So it doesn't matter. Mess up a little bit. Screw up an application. Okay, you know we've got the paper and now the telesales. The tools are there and they're going to start getting sharper. I promise you the company is committed to make these things sharper. So in 2022, you know, we've got an out with the old and in with the new. We're washing out 2021 and we're coming in with 2022, okay? I care about every single person on this line. I want everybody to succeed as much as you want to succeed. But mainly, there's a family, there's a son, there's a daughter, there's a mother and a father waiting for you to come through their door to protect them in 2022. There's a group of them that's waiting on you. We just got to get out there and go see them. We got to put our shoes on and go see them. So I want to thank you so much for the time today. Thank you for, for giving me 46 minutes of your, of your day. I look forward to working with you more and more and more in 2022. Let me know what you need. I'm here for you. I'm your friend. And let's rock and roll this thing and uh, go in and protect some families. So thank you all again.
thank you for the, the special guest and thank you for all the speakers and Aura and Rick for jumping on here to making it special. And uh, as I always say from Texas, adios. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.